It's your division, Ramirez pro great. I just saw you yeah. talk to him. Yeah. Who's the top of that division to you right now? Oh, I, I think I, at the end of the day, like I always say, like I always say. All right, guys. As I always say, you know, you gotta make these fights happen. Okay. You know, there's a lot of good talent at 140. You know, uh, Terrence vacated a lot of the titles. A lot of guys are fighting for the belts. Once all the titles get fulfilled, then guess what? Then we're gonna see some of these matchups. You know, come about. You know, Pro Gray, I saw him here. He was Iron Ramirez. You've seen who's yeah, gonna win the he's fight. He's his mandatory. Yeah, yeah, and he's his mandatory. So I'm curious to see which way top ranks gonna go. You know, Pro Gray is a dangerous guy, fresh guy. He's hungry, he's determined, he's a soft power with big punching power. You saw Ramirez tonight, he handled that power of Amir Mon very, very well. You know what I mean? So, hey, it's a compelling fight. I think it's a future fight. I, I, I want to see it. Do the politics get in the way? You just uh, mentioned, you know, hey, that he's a top-ranked fighter. Listen, man, one of them, you can't run away from your mandatory. It's tough. It's tough the way to, it's it is tough. You know what? When the WBC, when they call, hey, it's a mandatory. You got to face them. You the champ, you got to face them. You mm. have to. And you know what I'm saying? And when you the number one mandatory, I'm going to let you know right now. There's no tie, there's no, there's no rematch clause. Mm. There's no rematch clause. You, you gotta get you it take done. The, hey, you gotta get it done. If they, if you lose, they, the belt goes to the next guy. All right. I gotta ask: Is there any fighter who has that grit, that heart? You were like, I mean, I've only seen it twice. You, saw you it in Holyfield. You saw it tonight. Uh, okay. You saw it Ramirez? tonight, Ramirez. Okay. Yeah, you saw it tonight, man. I, I, I was a highly impressed. You know, Paulie Malinaji has been quoted saying that a Mary Ma is the second hardest puncher that he's ever been in the ring with. You know, that shared the ring with. Mm. You know what I mean? And that's coming from a two time world champion yeah, in Pauly, Pauly Malinaji. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Ramirez ate it. You know what I'm saying? And when I was in my career, that's what that's what I normally say is that, you know what? If you don't hurt me, if I take your best punch and I keep coming, I said, you won't in for the long haul, buddy. You, mm. Hey, I'm dangerous. I know my ability. I'm going to apply that pressure on you and I'm going to wear you behind down. And that's what Ramirez did tonight. He wore down Amir Mon, closed the gap on him, worked that body, made him fight. Made him fight his fight, and he had real good success, man. I talked to Regis about this guy and a couple of other guys. Yeah. Adrian Broner, he said he's taking over 140. Who? Regis? Yeah, I talked. He said there's no way about it, but Broner seems to be... He's dedicated to the 140-pound division. Who, Broner? Yeah. Broner just got to get serious. Very talented, is, just got to get serious. Is, is he at the top of the division? Yeah, Broner got skills, man. He just got to get serious. But yeah, Broner, Broner got a lot of skills. He can fight with the best guys in there. He going to have his hands full, I think, against Jesse Vargas. Jesse Vargas is no slouch. Um, it's a really good, compelling fight. You know, Jesse Vargas is going to have to bring the pain. You know. The